breezy conditions greet you here Saturday morning in its finals day. It is the first of our gold medal matches and it's the one that I think that everyone anticipated in the women's rugby sevens. The gold medalist from Rio, Australia, taking on the silver medalist, New Zealand, to see who can win the first gold medal for women's rugby at the Commonwealth Games. A terrific crowd on a beautiful afternoon. Well, it's a bit warm, 29 degrees. That cloud cover will hopefully drop the temperature for the players. And there they are, waiting to come out. Shade is about halfway across the ground, which will help both of these teams who have battled hard to get through to the final. This is it, the women's gold medal. The Rugby Sevens, Australia v New Zealand. Shani Williams out there with her ankle in the moon boot. This is the moment that all athletes dream of. The national anthem before representing their country. The national anthems of New Zealand and Australia. Charlotte Kaslick during the national anthem. It means so much to both of these teams. There is the Australian lineup. Shani Williams, you saw there on the crutches in the moon boot. She won't be playing the starting lineup and the player into the squad, Georgie Friedrichs. Elia Green on the bench. What role will she play in this final? Up against the New Zealand side that has been in good form, really good form throughout this tournament. Sarah Goss is the captain. Portia Woodman, can she put behind the disappointment of Rio to spark this New Zealand side to win gold in the Commonwealth Games? There is the bench for New Zealand. It has been a terrific three days of competition. It comes down to this. 
two best women's rugby sevens teams in the world, Australia taking on New Zealand. Big moment for our referee, Sarah Cox from England. We wish her well. Another chapter in the history of Australia v New Zealand battles is about to be written. <laughs> New Zealand will kick off, defending the southern end of Ravina Stadium. They will run right to left on the screen. Wilson will get us underway. And it's the high start. Here comes Blyde, gets a hand to it. So New Zealand through Williams will have first use of the football. Ball is out. Brazier. Another link up here with Williams who comes back and can't get on the outside of Sykes who makes a good tackle. Maybe injured herself in doing so, but is up now. Fitzpatrick. Good defence from Palite. All goes backwards on the ground. Nice bounce here for Blyde. Away from the touchline. Away from two defenders, but not Charlotte Casley. Good control here from New Zealand. Fitzpatrick. A long ball to Willison. Goss. Australian defence in a straight line. No way through at the moment. Right on the halfway line, New Zealand. Willison. Not a good pass, and that's the knock on the second one. So there's the mistake from New Zealand. And the crowd right behind Australia here on the Gold Coast. Just a messy error there from Fitzpatrick. This will now allow Australia a good attacking position. They've got a short side around the scrum that they could look to attack, but they've got Tonegato out on the right wing. Crouch. Emily Cherries to the left. Alicia Quirk right behind the scrum, fed by Kaslick. They go to the left. Quirk trying to link here with Cherry. Well defended New Zealand. But they come back to the right-hand side, the western side. Tonegato, the pass was just a fraction away from a, from Palite. And Tonegato with the error. It had opened up somewhat on the inside. But she was just a bit wide for the pass. That was a beautiful late switch there from Ivania Polite and Tonegato. She had all the right things in mind, Tonegato, but was thinking about the next job rather than just catching the ball, getting Crunch. the ball in hand. Unlucky. Bind. Set. So both teams have made a mistake. And those will have settled. Williams straightening out the back. Tidied up by Brazier. Blyde down the touchline. Good defence, Cherry. Willison. Opportunity here for New Zealand to run it. Portia Woodman, her first run of the final. One on one with Polite. Around Polite. Cover from Kaslik. Can she make the tackle? No. Here comes Tonegato. Will she have the pace? Portia Woodman. And Portia Woodman gets the first try. New Zealand 5, Australian nil. And it was all Portia Woodman. Portia Woodman, what a phenomenal effort from this woman. She is the highest try scorer of all time in the world. And she shows us why. She was one on one with Polite, beat her on the wing, stepped inside, stepped Kaslik in the sweeper zone. And Tonegato just didn't even have it in the legs. Portia Woodman. Well, I speak of redemption may be too strong a word, but she was in tears in Rio after being sin-binned in that final. It was a big moment in that final in Rio. And she will be delighted to be the first try scorer. And she beat almost half the Australian side there. 5-0. Willison with the restart. Change of direction. Who wants it? It's off a black hand and went backwards. And so Brazier comes up with it. And New Zealand. Willison. Almost created something. Goss. Woodman. That's off the knee. Oh, the referee said it was off a hand. I thought it might have come off the knee. It 
can see the nerves are really starting from to take effect in this game. The there is so much at stake here. One from you guys in the tackle, and then a second one. A few messy errors there. And it's off in the straight in hand, they're saying. Off the hand of Alicia Quirk. I didn't think it came yeah, off the, the hands of just gone to wrap. Woodman anyway. From you guys. Okay. You might be able to hear the breeze picking up in the microphones too. Really Crunch. coming in strong now. Mind. Which hasn't been around all day. Set. So New Zealand, plenty of support here as well. Maya Williams at crossfield as she got the pace. Terrific tackle from behind. Emily Cherry. Millicent Goss. Running here at Parry. Steps inside her. The offload. Numbers here for New Zealand. Williams. Ball around the body. Goes in the touch. They are under the pump here at the moment, the Australians. New Zealand controlling play. That pass will give the Australians a little bit of respite. Not the finish that they would have wanted Come to on. this attacking set. And Ten. that's what's going to win this game Ten. is who can finish their attack completions. Nine. Gail Gorton coming on for New Zealand. First change made. And here's Elliot Green coming on for Australia. So both teams making changes. Emma Sykes goes to the bench. Charlotte Come Keslick on. needs to change the ball. There All is right. Elliot Green. Yeah, Only saw about 20 seconds in the semi-final. Right? Quirk does well. Back to Kaslik. Not the way set up here. They come back to the short side. Not the best of passes. Parry does well. And it opens up and she tries to steamroll. So Wilson. Now leave it blank. Well cleaned up by the Australians. Parry waits. Kaslik. Up quickly, New Zealand. So Kaslik has to change direction back to Parry. Tries to run over the top of Williams. Penalty. Didn't release. And quick tap taken. Sarah Goss. The Aussies have got their backs turned. And now an opportunity here for New Zealand through Wilson. Strong defence by Emily Cherry. Charlotte Kaslik's in real trouble in back play. Now Gordon. She straightens. Then tries to link on the outside with Clyde. The chase is on. And Clyde will score. New Zealand in again. Away from Toligato. And Michaela Blyde gets New Zealand second. It's now 10 nil. And Charlotte Kaslik is holding a jaw in that play with the trainer. Yeah, no worries. What a combination here from Broughton and Blythe. The work done from this woman in field as she steps in and away, in and away to sell Alicia Quirk and then Blythe on the outside. Just gets on the out of Tonegato there. But Blythe, the footwork from this woman is unbelievable. And when you're out there on the back from the defense, there is nothing else you can do. Well, there's the halftime siren. And there's a few walking wounded out there for the Australians as well. And they kick right on the halftime siren. And it's very important. And it's another two points for New Zealand. And so halftime in this women's gold medal match. It's New Zealand with a handy lead. They lead Australia 12-0. Woodman I knew she would have an impact and the first time she, she touched the ball she did. First touch and she scored. She's had such a huge impact with this New Zealand side over the course of the World Series this year and in this tournament at the Commonwealth Games this weekend. And Michaela Bly, the current number one player in the world and one of the best finishers at that. Yeah. Haven't really been in the game yet, the Australians. New Zealand has dominated. Charlotte Kaslik has gone for a head injury assessment. That's a big blow to the Aussies. Australia just had a lack of respect for the ball in possession. 
Nothing special is going to win this game. It's just who can execute one-on-one -on -one tackles and attack completion. So don't forget this for you here in Rabina. Australian senior legend John Williamson serenading the crowd with true blue. Can they claw their way back? It is a very short kickoff. So penalty there. Nine. Just Shortly nine. Just in front of the sights. Big moment here. Can they score straight away? Okay. Change the go. momentum of this Can final. I no Kaslik out there, being assessed for a head injury. That's an awful pass. Lucky bounce to Cherry. Now Tomagato one-on-one -on -one with Woodman. Woodman is there and makes the tackle. No support for Tomagato. She's got a release. Turnover. New Zealand now in the corner. Willison. They're deep in trouble here, New Zealand. Can they work their way out of it? Goss. Inside their own in goal, Portia Woodman runs at Tonegato, steps out of that. Great tackle, Parry, but they keep it alive here in New Zealand. Now they've created the overlap. The kick comes from Brazier, chases on. Green, Glide is behind her. Elliot Green will win the race, the bounce, important. Glide's knocked on. She knocked on. It was an awful oh, bounce see? at the last moment for Elliot Green. And Michaela Glide just knocked it on. Now Shannon Parry is carrying a shoulder injury in back play. They've got Portia Woodman in trouble as well for New Zealand. Time off. One. Cassie Staples coming on for Parry. And see there, that right arm oh, she's going, the bottom okay, of the cool. screen. Barely moving as she comes from the field. This is not looking Woodman, good. Woodman's going to come from the field as well. She's limping. Not looking good for the Aussies at all. Time They've got their captain off the field, Charlotte Kaslik off the field. They need some magic from their big players, Cherry, Tonegato, Green. Really need to step it up here for Australia. Find, set. Five minutes to go. Uh, hang on, hang on. Right. You guys hold it. You guys here. hold it, okay? Yeah. Right, same mark again, please. Ritae to feed the scrum. Crouch. Kirk is back Five. there. Only Cherry's on one wing. Tomagata the other. That's out. Here is Kirk trying to link here with Cherry. Good defence from New Zealand. Back on the inside. There's four black jumpers there. Cherry has it back here to Quirk. Long pass Staples. Now Sykes. Green. By great tackle, releases and regathers, steps away, has support, finds it in Tonegano, pushes away from Williams, and Tonegano grabbed from behind, great tackle, plays on and should have released. What defence from New Zealand. What a phenomenal effort there from Michaela Blyde, you can see that took it out of her, Tonegano was in the clear, and Blyde, she did not give up, look at her in the back screen there. A great fan from Tonegato on Williams, but the determination in Blight's face just got a hold of her left foot in her jersey. Yeah, just in front. Yeah, yeah. yeah perfect. The clock continues to wind down. So they fine touch New Zealand, leading by 12. What an atmosphere for this women's rugby sevens gold medal match. Just something special about Australia being New Zealand. That's too long. Here's a chance for the Australians. Can they make the most of it? Cherry's on the outside. Can they get it to a yes? Emily Cherry gets the try. The Australians are back in it. 12 5 with a kick to come. It took some time. Emily Cherry was screaming for it. And they finally got it to her. 
who Come needed up, some magic, the Australians, and it came in the form of Ivania Polite just lingering around the back of that line out, and off she went, back to self, two-hand curry, turned Gal Broad and inside out. So evasive, and there's Emily Cherry, always finds herself in the right place at the right time. This is magnificent, what a game this is set to be. And the attempted conversion is successful. And it's 12-7. Charlotte Kaslick is back on the bench. But it doesn't look like she's going to play any further role in the game. Getting some consolation from some teammates. There's the restart. That could go close to out on the full. Well taken, Goss. Leaping high and taking it well. And true. Ball, ball is out. Ball was out. And Pelletay just stopped. She could have made the tackle. Willison. Ball is out again. Woodman. And the Australians force an error. Can New Zealand get down the other end of the park? Cherry with an important tackle. They lost it there, New Zealand. Now here's the Australians, the opportunity. Tommy has got Green on her outside. She's only got Blyde to beat. Green, Blyde, Blyde doesn't make the tackle this time. And Elliot Green scores for Australia. We're locked up in the women's gold medal match. And there is a kick to come. Australia made them play. Elia Green, beautiful ball out there from Emma Tonegato, and look at this woman run. She is a phenomenal athlete. Michaela Bly just struggling to get shoulders on in contact there to pull her out into the touch. And she's missed it. This is unbelievable. What have we got inside the final minutes? Well, Glide was able to make the tackle before on Tonegato, but not this time on Green. How important now. Look at the bench. There's Charlotte Kaslick. She won't be back. How important is this restart? Are you done? Turn back on. 50 seconds remaining. This match, this tournament, these two teams deserve this grandstand finish. Goss got a hand to it. L nearly knocked on. She held on to it. That's play on Brazier. The crowd don't like it, but the referee got it right. Now Woodman, half a gap. Good tackle, Pelletay. They keep it alive here in New Zealand. They've got numbers. Tonegato has come in. She has to reel back. Williams, the pass to Blight. Has she got anything left in the legs? Away from Tonegato. Away from another. Taken there by Staples, just shy of the halfway line. The ball in the hands of New Zealand. Awful pass. The Australians don't have the legs to get up there. As Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick almost through. She threw the ball back to Wilson, who can barely run. Now she's taken the ground by Quirk. Fitzpatrick back to Woodman. Now please, yeah, there's the siren. The siren's gone. Woodman's lost it. And Australia have come up with possession. Can they get the ball penalty? Penalty Australia. They play on quickly. Here goes Emily Cherry. They need to control the football. They've got numbers if they can get it to Green. Tonegato. Staples Green is on her outside, but the defence is over there. She kicks into touch. Now we're going to go to extra time. Why did she do that? I don't know why she would have. What an any climax. I don't think she realised that the score's even. I think she thought they were up. You got coin. Wow. This will send them into sudden death. Wow. 12 all. Oh, Cassie Staples. Wow. Full time, 12 all. We have extra time, and it is sudden death. This place has been rocking all weekend, but there was complete silence when that happened. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes, thank you very much. I don't think the crowd can believe it. Here's the okay. toss. Right, you guys. You give it a flip, you call it. What end? So you want that end, okay? Kick off. Yep, okay. So Australia elected to receive. Um, I just hope that, you know, whatever happens here, that 
Jesse Staples doesn't dwell on that. Things happen in the heat of the moment. Hasn't, you know, there's no guarantee that Australia was going to score from that anyway, so I hope she can get a mind away from that. Yeah, absolutely. What a way to end. What a crowd pleaser. They are on top, the Aussies too, down 12 mil at half time and scored both the tries and all the momentum. So extra time, the first team to score wins the gold medal. The inaugural women's rugby sevens at the Commonwealth Games. Wilson with the start. Can the Australians control it? They can. Emily Cherry was a little bit nervy for the Australian supporters. Tony Gatto across field. Here's a chance for the Australians. She runs away from support. In fact, with Sykes. And there's the mistake from Tony Gatto. And now New Zealand the opportunity. Brazier. Will they be able to control it? Portia Woodman. She is the danger. Woodman across field. And the pass there to Goss. Goss runs at Staples. And they're only 30 odd metres out from the line here in New Zealand. What a finish for this women's rugby tournament. Live, her defence outstanding earlier on Tonagato. Picked up here by Williams. Now the juggle from Goss. She's got Woodman on her outside. Now on the inside. Was that tap forward? It was. And went forward, says the referee. She was in the perfect spot. So New Zealand can't make Australia pay for their mistake. I'm not sure that it was. I just think it looked like it went forward because of the way the play unfolded. We've got Shannon Parry coming on for Australia. And Gail Broughton for New Zealand. This is terrific way to finish the women's rugby sevens. Okay, time back on. Someone will walk away with gold, someone with silver. Crouch. Bind. Set. Quirk. Long ball. And under enormous pressure, Cherry. Very numbers New Zealand. They bring it to ground. Quirk is there. Penalty. Please stop shouting at me. Quick tap taken. The Aussies burn on quickly. Can they get it to Green? There is Green, the knock on again. Everyone on the edge of their seats. Tonegato tried to turn Green under. And there wasn't really conviction in the pass. Just missed opportunities here from the Aussies. She dragged her straight ac across Tonegato, but just couldn't get that ball to sit up nicely for Elliot Green. Perfect position to attack here from New Zealand. What have they got left in the legs? Both sides. Crouch. Bind. Set. One ball from Brazier. He's brought and stepping, weaving, looking for support. Finds it. New Zealand. Almost through, great tackle made there by Bellatay. Is there a mistake? And up on the nerves of everyone. Who is going to hold their nerve? And whoever does will win a gold medal. That's exactly what they needed, the Australians. Let's go. And it came from magnificent defence. Just, just drop back a little bit. And intensity at the rock. Back of the scrum and Cherry is there, receiving it from Quirk, trying to link up here with Elliot Green. She's not got much room to work with. Wide is there, away from her. Nice tackle from Broughton. Rolls it back and they're very wide here. Now the Aussies. And now straightening it almost through. Staples, the clean out from Parry was good. Now a chance. 
Here come the Australians. Tonegato passed behind her. Woodman to beat. Ball back on the inside to Pelote. She puts the foot down. Pelote being chased. Grabbed from behind by Williams. Now the clean out comes. Penalty didn't release. The work rate from Niall Williams there. She is made of the tough stuff, that woman. What She's given it absolutely everything. Polito, she was in the clear looking for support, but Williams, she got there first. Straight over the ball, that's great technique. She has absolutely emptied the tank. So they find touch New Zealand, 10 short of halfway. Can the Australians force a mistake? Detoy is going to come on. I think it's Tom Agato who's come off. Players have barely got anything left. It is Emma Tonegato. She was very distressed on the touchline, just exhausted. Willison, taken well by Goss. Oh, spin it wide, Broughton, one-on-one. Detoy, that's a sign for a great, great tackle. Detoy, first involvement since coming off the bench, turned it over, penalty. Wow. New Zealand got here. Okay, let's go, please. Yep. Brazier. Can't afford to miss one tackle here. Goss. Ducking under. Cherry who grabs the arm. Brazier. Now Williams. Long pass. Willison over her head. Nice bounce, though, for Gail Broughton. Can she put Woodman into some space? The pass and Woodman will go to touch. No. Great tackle, Parry. And the turnover. No, she isn't able to tidy up. And they keep it alive here in New Zealand. Can they counter? Straight down the middle of the park goes Brazier. The chase is on. Who is going to win? New Zealand. Brazier for the corner. Brazier's got the pace. Brazier will score. And New Zealand will win the gold medal. It came from nowhere, and Kelly Brazier has won the gold medal for New Zealand. The inaugural women's rugby sevens gold medal at the Commonwealth Games goes to New Zealand. What a match. This has been a long time coming for this New Zealand side. They played an extra six and a half minutes. Their bodies are completely spent. Can you believe it? New Zealand with the gold medal. The first ever gold medal for women in rugby sevens at a Commonwealth Games here on the Gold Coast. What a match. Well, it looked like she wasn't going to have the legs, Kelly Brazier, and then it was almost like she got a second wind halfway down the field. Deserve a gold medalist too. They have been outstanding through the tournament. The Aussies had their chances down here and their defence was outstanding trying to force a turnover. If they maybe had taken Portia Woodman into touch, regrouped and full time, it is New Zealand 17, Australia 12 in the women's gold medal match. Ladies and gentlemen, the medal ceremony for women's rugby sevens. culminates in this, the presentation of the medals, the silver medalists, Australia. What a final that was. That will long be remembered. Followed by the gold medalists in New Zealand. New Zealand, our bronze medalists. That is a match that will be spoken about 
in rugby circles, men and women, for many, many years to come. It was a privilege to be here and watch it. Absolutely. We've seen New Zealand and Australia go head to head on so many occasions. And both teams coming out triumphant. Australia in Rio, Australia in Sydney Sevens in February, but the women of the moment being the Black Fern Sevens for New Zealand. What a special moment. What a proud day to be a Kiwi. It's been an outstanding tournament. Outstanding football. And in the end, these are the three best teams. The gold medals will be presented by President, Commonwealth Games Federation, Louise Martin, CBE. Accompanied by President, Commonwealth Games Association of New Zealand, Mike Stanley. The silver medals will be presented by the President of the Commonwealth Games Federation, Louise Martin, CBE. Accompanied by President, World Rugby, Bill Beaumont. The bronze medals will be presented by President World Rugby, Bill Beaumont. Accompanied by Chief Executive Officer, England Rugby, Stephen Brown. New Zealand, the gold medal. And for Australia, the, the winner Olympic of the final. bronze medal. And our bronze medal is England. England. Gold and silver medalists from Rio backing out. Canada got through to this bronze medal match against England. But this time England Abigail victorious. And they were very good throughout the entire tournament. Lydia Thompson. They were, and throughout the tournament they just continued improving. And that's exactly Scarrow. the kind of effort that they needed in order to secure Natasha the bronze Hunt. medal. She's been very proud of her performance and themselves, this English Fleming. side. Heather Fisher. Such a, Scott. such a mixture of emotions, isn't it? The fact that, particularly for the Australians, Alex a, a, a gold, but silver is Megan better than Jones. bronze, which is better than nothing. The English would have been disappointed Jessica not to Bridge. be through the gold medal match, but in the end, they are going home with the medal. Amy Wilson Hardy. And some confirmation. And Victoria Fleetwood. Some reward. For the hard work. So there are our bronze medalists, England, and on this occasion, the inaugural women's rugby at the Commonwealth Games, our silver medalists. Next up, that is the home team in one of the great matches of sevens rugby you're likely to see. There's the emotion of bronze, now the emotion of silver. The winner of the silver medal, Australia. A more gallant silver medal you're unlikely to see. Terrific Lip performance, but not quite Shannon good enough Perry. today. A little bit bittersweet for the Australians, but they're the standards that they hold on themselves so high. And the best Denny team won on the day. Dom the toy. Dom the toy. Emma Tonegato. Hopefully she doesn't beat herself up too much about the end of the match, he has learned so Bunny much Politi. here on the Gold Coast. Charlotte Caslick. It was the moment in the final. 
a hit knock to show it. That's his Just before half time. Emma Sykes. Alicia Quirk. Emily Cherry. Elliot Green. And Georgie Fredericks. It's not a bad effort getting a silver medal at any competition. I think that realisation is has come in for the girls. They'll get their gifts, but now it is the time for New Zealand to take centre stage. and Commonwealth Champion, New Zealand. And worthy champions. It was a terrific game of rugby. It had everything. Representing New Zealand, Elena It'll Siami. definitely be a game that'll go down in history. Shakira Baker. Six and a half minutes into Sunday, that is unbelievable and not something you see very often Niall in the Williams. game of sevens. This Yoss. moment will be one of the biggest moments in some of Michaela these players' Wright. careers. Tyler Nathan Wong. And so Kelly well Grace deserved. Gail Gordon. Teresa Fitzgerald. The next time these two teams meet. Fortune Woodman. Tanika Wilson and Rasiliana Corey Lane. A sense of redemption for Portia Woodman who played such a big role today after that Sin bidding in Rio, which was the big moment of the final, and she was in tears afterwards. And you can't get a bigger smile than that. Now the moment every athlete waits, awaits. They're playing at the national anthem after winning a gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of New Zealand. of success. Congratulations New Zealand. Women's rugby gold medal winners for the Gulf Coast 2018.
great camaraderie in women's rugby. They know how hard they've fought to get to this stage. Shannon Perry and Portia Woodman. Gold medal New Zealand, silver Australia and bronze to England in the women's rugby sevens. to the women's rugby sevens at uh, the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. New Zealand gold medalists. Congratulations.